Michio, here we are, scientists, human beings, who seem to have our hands on the fundamental nature of reality. Quantum physics at the smallest area, general relativity, and all the remarkable discoveries of cosmology, seeking a final theory, perhaps string theory. We're getting very close on, all, on the smallest scale and on the larger scale to really understanding it. Can now we step back and ask the questions that our ancestors asked, that are asked by religions, that are asked by philosophers? Is there any meaning to all of this? Is there any reason? Can we ask the why question? Well, I think it is legitimate to ask the why questions because in some sense, our role in the universe, where do we fit in this larger scheme of things? That's the ultimate goal of science itself. Now remember that there's conflicts. Uh, when Galileo, for example, turned his telescope to the heavens, people immediately asked him, where's heaven? Where's heaven? What is the purpose of life? The purpose of life is to live a good life to go to heaven. That's why we are here. That gives us meaning to praise God to go to heaven. And they asked Galileo, where is heaven? And Galileo looked, and he looked, and we're still looking, and we see no heaven out there. And so science forces us to push back the boundaries of what we know, where we are in the scheme of things. And I think it's a good thing because I think we know where we stand with regards to the much larger universe. Now, some people say, well, if you're so smart, you physicists know so much, is there a unified theory of happiness? Is there a unified theory of meaning to it all? Well, I personally don't believe that there is an equation out there written in the sky which says, this is it, folks. This is the meaning of the universe. This is what you've been struggling for. I don't see that. However, I do see the search for a theory of everything illuminating how we fit into the larger scheme of things, our role in the universe. But then people say, but, but that's not what I want to know. I want to know, what's in it for numero uno? What's, what's my meaning in life? And I tell people the following. It's too easy to have meaning just plop down from the heavens onto our lap. That's too easy. We have to work for it. We have to create our own meaning. And this is what I tell people. I say that there's no equation out there that can give meaning to your life. You have to find meaning for yourself. It is a process of self-discovery that it's too easy for us to simply have an equation that says, okay, this is it, folks. This is the meaning of the universe. It's a process of self-discovery. Now, for me, example, I tend to think that all of us are born with certain talents, certain abilities, and we have to reach the maximum of our capa capabilities and potential. Why? To make the world a better place, to make sure that we leave the universe, we leave the world a better place than we first entered. Now, that doesn't mean that the trumpets are blaring when I make that statement. But for me, this is my purpose in life. Well, certainly, whatever your purpose is, whatever your imagined meaning is, if it's personal or it's derived from some religion, it now must conform to the laws of physics that are being discovered at the micro level, at the quantum level, at the cosmological level. Anything that has any claim to veracity and truth must conform to that. I mean, that's a given. Beyond that is the question. And is there some larger purpose, or is the only purpose that which we uh, derive, and maybe some would say artificially, maybe the, the, the meaning that you're talking about is sort of a trying to uh, uh, tack on artificially a meaning to where no meaning exists. Why don't you come clean and say, as a scientist, here are the laws. You have to conform to it. I don't see meaning in it, and that's it. Well, I think there's a spectrum of answers that you get when you interview cosmologists and theoretical physicists. On one hand, you have the people who say the universe is pointless. There is no point, dummy. <laughs> You're trying to put human values on something that has no human values. On the other hand, you will get physicists, mainly old-fashioned ones, but they say that the purpose of life is to glorify God. That's why they discover the laws of physics. Discovering the laws of physics to them is a way of glorifying God. End of story. That's the purpose of the universe. Well, I don't think that this scale is the proper way in which to look at the full dimension of things. 
I personally don't think that you're going to find meaning in a unified field theory. An equation which explains electrons and neutrons and protons is not going to make you happy. Okay? I say there is meaning in the universe. There is such a thing as meaning in the universe, but it's personally created. You have to define your own meaning. Otherwise, it's a cop-out. Otherwise, you're simply saying that I'm going to give, get uh, some message from on heaven, an email from outer space saying, okay, this is the meaning of, of life. Go live it. I don't believe in that. I say to people, you search for meaning. Search inside yourself because that's where true meaning is going to be found. Because if I tell you that the meaning of life is this equation, you're not going to believe me. Okay. And it's not going to affect your life. Okay. Uh, we're putting that off the table that there's not going to be some ultimate guidelines, some ultimate equations, some ultimate No email dictum, from heaven. No email from heaven or part of a, of a book or something that's going to tell you the way it is, but something that you infer that you create yourself. But is that, is just, that just sounds like a rationalization to me. It, it, it's trying to impose something that nothing is. Maybe it'll make us feel better, and I'm all for that. Take care of the earth, take care of our families, that's fine. But at the end of the day, it is, it, it, it is really kind of irrelevant. I don't think so, because it gives structure and meaning to life. Freud, for example, was asked, what is the meaning of life, right? And he said, well, what gives us structure, what gives us meaning in life are two things, okay? Um, to work and to love. And if you think about it, we as human beings need to work, we need to love, or else we go insane. We go crazy, we go off the deep end, as they say. We become, uh, we live a pointless life, of a pointless existence, unless we work to some productive goal and we love. And I think that's a very foundational question, that any theory of meaning has to embrace the very foundations of who we are, that we have to work and we have to love. Now, what does theoretical physics say about this? Well, it may talk about creation, it may talk about the harmony of the universe, the glories of equations and so on and so forth, but it's not going to tell you how to be a better person. It's not going to fulfill that yawning gap inside your soul that says, why am I here to begin with? And that's why I say the process of self-discovery is the way to do it. To some people, they say, well, it's a cop-out. I want that email from heaven. Hey, it's not coming. 